context menus in Windows. Awful. Look at that. Just look at it. Just look at it. Looks awful. Just awful. Ew. Gross. Look at that. Copy. Rename. Just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Show more options to get an actual context menu that isn't crappy. Why, why isn't this the default? I want that to be the default. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it right now. So what do we install for this? Now, there's a couple things we can do here. And what I'm going to do is install something called Shell. Now, you can install this through Winget, uh, which is pretty easy to get. You can just go Winget, install Shell, I think it is. And if we do a search, and it's something called Nilesoft Shell. This guy right here is what we need. Uh, if you don't want to type all this in, you could also just run my toolbox. And from that, you can just click on shell right over here, expanded context menu, and then just hit start install. This should go out and install shell. And then we reboot after that's installed. And then when we pop it up, what do we got? So we got the same old, same old. That's okay. We've got another tweak to run something called set classic right click menu in the tweak section. This should be a pretty easy one. We'll give it another reboot. And then when we come back, this should be directly and look like this by defaults. Now, when we pull up file explorer, what do we got? Ah, beautiful. We got the classic right click menu that has now been expanded to be even better. And what do I mean by even better? Let's say you're in your downloads and you need to pull up a PowerShell from here. You can just right click and go, you know what? Get me PowerShell, please. And then it pulls it up and we should have a PowerShell sitting in our downloads folder. Oh, that looks so good. It works so well. But sometimes we're like, you know what? I need an administrator PowerShell from here. We could even right click terminal and then hold shift and click. What this does is it launches it into an administrator PowerShell version. Uh, so then we can even, you know, write out system files, those types of things, if we need. More than that, we have some other things. File manager, if we need to copy this full path, it'll copy that path. Or if you want to do the short path, this is uh, for your DOS base or 32-bit. I, I don't know if this is really used too much these days, but short pass, nice to have. And we can even toggle hidden in system in here, which is great. So if you wanted to see hidden files, you click this. If you want to see system files, you click this. That would show, uh, the only thing that comes in to mind is like the windows re.wim file in your system 32. I just did a video on the recovery part partition and how it kind of hides that. We can launch into like VS code directly from our downloads folder. You can also go to certain folders. So if we needed to go to our system folder, we just click it. It takes us right to system 32. We can launch into our control panel, the old school control panel, you know, the good version with, you know, you go small icons and you have access to everything from uh, actual power options that don't treat you like a five-year-old. Uh, all that stuff is directly accessible now from your context menu, which is great. Uh, same goes for the actual desktop here. When you're clicking in the desktop, you can see a couple more things. Now, while this is good, we can even expand it further. Let's say we want to take this context menu to the next level and do add a layer of customization to it. Let's first go to program files. We're just going to right click and just zip on over to there and go, okay. Oh, we have this Nilesoft shell right here, and there's a certain file in here I want to open up and start editing so we can uh, make things even better than what we see right here. So let's go ahead and do an open with, and I'm gonna scroll down to the dynamic settings. And in the dynamic settings, we can actually create new line items. So let's say I'm over here and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna make a new item. Let's call it Chris Titus YouTube. And then the CMD, what are we gonna launch as, as Chris Titus YouTube? Let's say we wanna use our Brave browser to do that, but I don't know the full path of Brave. So let's just right click Brave, say more options, open file location, and let's just get some of the configuration of the actual target here. This is the entire path. That's what I, I grabbed it from its shortcut key and boom. If we want to just relabel this item brave, we could just leave it as is and then right click and then it would show brave there, which is kind of cool. Or we could just go args equals 
and then we can actually add a full web page. So let's go youtube.com forward slash C Chris Titus Tech. And I mistitled this. This should be title CMD args. So that's why I failed to right click. Let's just save this, close that out. And we're just gonna restart Explorer uh, right here. Does that give us anything? Oh, perfect. All right, so now we have the Chris Titus YouTube. Let's click that, see if it launches Brave right into the main channel of my YouTube channel. Fantastic. So you could add any executable with any argument in here, just like you would do a traditional shortcut. So when you're looking at shortcuts and let's say you, you do wanted to do a little bit more but pass variables to them, you totally can. So even if you, let's say you wanted to make shell a uh, part of that, you could go into properties and you can see how it works. The title of the application shell would be title equals shell. The target, this would be CMD equals, and then this full string. And then if there's any arguments that go with this, this would be like a dash maximize or, or something of that nature where it would add a certain target to it to where it would add as an argument. So if that argument requires a dash or if it's just a, a web address like we did with Chris Titus YouTube, you'd put that in here. So I hope you enjoy having a functional right click menu again. Oh, I'm so thankful someone mentioned this on my toolbox and made an issue and said, hey, why don't you have shell in here? This would make Windows 11 right click menus like so much better. And I'm like, I didn't know. So thank you, random person on GitHub that submitted this request. I love you and I love your contribution. And I hope anybody watching this enjoys it as much as I do. With that, I'll see you in the next one.